Hello everyone, welcome to Azibo Concepts. Today's video is all about measurement. There is no creating of any garment without measurement. When it comes to fashion, measurement is very crucial. Let me quickly tell you why measurement is very crucial when it comes to fashion. For example, you want to create a garment for yourself or for somebody else with the wrong measurement. At the end, that garment is not going to fit properly because in the beginning, the measurement was all wrong. You are going to waste your fabric and also waste your time. That is why I encourage you to please pay attention to all we are going to do here today. Don't skip this video because a lot of people like to skip to the end of the video. They don't have time to really watch from beginning to the end. Because when you skip, you are going to miss a lot of important information along the line. So the purpose of you watching this video is for you to get something out of it. I encourage you, watch this video from beginning to the end. So at the end, you get something from it. I'm not going to hide anything from you because I want you to get the best from this channel within a short period. I do my tutorial as if I'm in a physical classroom. So I am not in a hurry to do my tutorial. This channel is all about fashion and creativity. On this channel, I do tutorial in menswear, women's wear, children's wear. Creating things from things I don't really have need for. So as a man, because men are very good with fashion these days, the top shots in the fashion industry are mostly men. So as a man, woman, boy, girl, you are interested in learning fashion from A to Z. You really want to know everything about fashion. I strictly recommend this channel for you. And you already have knowledge about fashion, you want to learn more. I also recommend this channel for you. Please subscribe. When you click the subscription button, please don't forget to click that notification bell with it immediately. When you click that notification bell, three options will come out. Click the first one, which is ALL. When you do that, you are good to go. Why am I emphasizing on that bell? Because a lot of people click only the subscription button, they will forget to click that notification bell. Notification bell and subscription work together. Please click the subscription button when subscribing. Thank you. Before we start, there is a video already on this channel. That video is all about the vital tools, things that you need to get yourself prepared, and vital informations that you also need to know before you start learning how to cut, sew, and all that you want to know about fashion. It's just to get you ready for the fashion world. That video is a must-watch video. I encourage you to please go and see that video. You have a lot to gain from it. There are different types of measurements out there. Measurement for bodies, dress, skirt, long dress hollow to the floor, jackets, trousers, sleeves, different types of measurements. But I'm not going to bring all these measurements in one video. It's going to be too confusing, especially for beginners. That is why I have decided to take it one after the other so that you know which measurement is for which garment. Like that is not going to be confusing at all. Today we are going to start with measurement to create the basic bodies block for women. I must tell you, measurement is not the most important thing here. Knowing how to take measurements is more important than that measurement itself. That is why it's very important for you to know how to take these measurements before creating a block. And again, we are also going to use this same measurement to create garment without a block. It's for two things. Yes, this is the beginning. Pay attention, please. <laughs> All the parts that we are going to take the measurements today are already written out. It's from number one. To 12. So as you take your measurement, because all body measurements are not the same, whatever measurement that you are going to take, please write it in the appropriate part. For example, if you're taking measurement for neck, look for where neck measurement is, put that your measurement. Measurement for shoulder, put your shoulder measurement, like that, like that. So that when we are going to draft bodies in my next video, you are going to have all these measurements on ground. It's an assignment for you. And I'm going to bring my own measurement. So as I'm creating, you are also creating. 
this dress form is very close to human body. That is why I'm using it for this tutorial today. As you can see, all the measurements are already been taken and lined out with this blue tape to make my tutorial very easy. Because I'm going to be working with my dress form on a regular basis, so I need the body's block for it. To enable me to create garment whenever I want to create garment for my dress form. So that will save me from going back to start taking the measurement all over and all over again to make my job very fast and very easy whenever I want to create garment for my dress form. And I also need the measurement without the block. The measurement that we are taking today is from the shoulder to the hip level. Naturally, bodice is supposed to stop by the waistline, but I'm extending mine to the hip line. Why? To enable me to create more size. So I encourage you to do the same. You can take your own body measurement. If you are not able, you can ask somebody to help you take your measurement. Provided you tell the person exactly what to do. If you don't want to use your own body measurement, you can take somebody else's body measurement. All that we need to achieve here is to be able to create the basic bodies block for women. And also to also have that same measurement to create garment without a block. In today's tutorial, we are going to use inches. And these are the tools that you need for this tutorial today. First, you need your measuring tape. You need a writing pen and a writing pad to write down all the measurements that you are going to take today so that you don't forget them. These three things are very important. There are two measurements that I want you to take note of. The vertical measurements and the horizontal measurements. The vertical measurements are the measurements coming from up straight down why the horizontal measurement are the measurement coming across? These are the two measurements that we're going to work with today. Number one, the full length of the bodies. It's very important that you know the full length of the body that you are going to create so that when you are cutting out your pattern paper, you know which length to cut out. Now, how do you take the measurement of the full length of the body that you are going to create? Put your tape, the eyes part of your shoulder, bring it down to the hip level. How do you know your hip level? The fullest part of the hip, the part that is bulging out, that is how you can know where to stop your tape. Use your eye to get it and stop your tape. At that particular part that is bulging out. So whatever you get between the shoulder and the hip line, that will be the full length of the bodies that you are trying to create. Mine is 24. Write yours down. Number two, the width of the bodies. It's very important you know the width of the bodies that you are going to create to enable you know how wide the pattern paper that you are going to use is going to be. Now, how can you determine the width of the bodies that you are going to create? You go with the highest measurement. Some people bust measurements are higher than their hip measurements. Why some people hip measurements are higher than that of their bust. So any one of the two that is higher, that is what you are going to use to determine the width of the bodies that you are going to create. So, if it's your hip that is higher in measurement, you take the circumference of your hip like this. That's the fullest part, all the way round. Then, whatever you get, you divide by four, and one quarter of it will serve as the width of the bodies that you are trying to create. If your bust that is higher. You take the circumference of your bust. Whatever you get, you divide by four. And one quarter, we serve as the weight of the bodies that you are trying to create. My dress form hip is the highest measurement. So, my dress form measurement is 40 at the hip side. And if I divide 40 by four, I'll have 10. That 10 is going to be the weight of the bodies that I'm going to create. 
that's how it works for those of you that don't know what circumference is circumference is the length of any great circle yes number three bust vertical measurement how do you take this measurement bring your tape put it at the highest part of the shoulder bring it down to the fullest part of the bust I must tell you this whenever you are taking any bust measurement any bust measurement at all please make sure you wear your best bra that will firm your bust bring your bust to the fullest before taking any bust measurement so that your measurement can be accurate take note of that Bring the tape to the fullest part of your bust. So whatever you get between the shoulder and the fullest part of your bust will serve as your vertical bust measurement. Mine is 10. Whatever you get in yours, please write it down. Number four, the waist vertical measurement. How do you take this waist vertical measurement? Bring your tape back to the highest part of your shoulder again break it down to the innermost part of your waist the innermost that is your natural waistline bring your tape up to that point so whatever you get between your shoulder and your waist please write it down mind dress form waist vertical measurement is 16 number five the hip vertical measurement how do you take this hip vertical measurement? Bring your tape again, back to that highest part of your shoulder, bring it all the way to the hip line. How can you tell where your hip line is? The fullest part of your hip, the part that is bulging out, like this. That is where you stop your tape. So whatever you get between your shoulder, and your hip that will serve as your hip vertical measurement my dress form vertical hip measurement is 24 whatever you get in yours please write it down number six neck circumference how do you take this measurement bring your tip put it around the extreme end of the neck the part that is connected to your shoulder like this so whatever you get please write it down mine dress form next circumference is 15. number seven the shoulder to shoulder measurement how do you take the shoulder to shoulder measurement the shoulder to shoulder measurement is taken from the back not from the front put your tape at the joint that is connecting your shoulder to your arm and bring your tip to the other joint of your shoulder whatever you get in between that will serve as your shoulder to shoulder measurement so you put your tip at one joint of your shoulder bring it to the other joint whatever you get that will serve as your shoulder to shoulder measurement mine dress from shoulder to shoulder measurement it's 15. Whatever you get in yours, please write it down. Number eight is the armhole circumference. How do you take this measurement? You bring your tape, put it at the extreme end of your shoulder. Bring it all the way, raise your arm a little bit. Bring it all the way around, back to where you started from. Like this. Like this. We are not adding any ease allowance. When we are creating our block, we now add ease allowance where necessary. So just measure it the way it is. My dress form arm of circumference is 15. Whatever you get in yours, please write it down. This upper bust line is not really included in our measurement today. 
in my next video where I'll be showing you how to create the basic bodice block. Then I'm going to show you how to get this upper bust line with the measurement of the armhole. Number nine, bust circumference. How do you take this measurement? You bring your tape, put it around the fullest part of the bust, like this. Make sure it's straight at the back, bring it to the front, all the way around, like this. like this so whatever you get you write it down mine transform bust circumference is 36 number 10 waist circumference how do you take this measurement bring your tape put it around the innermost part of your waist or whoever you are taking her measurement put it around the innermost part of your waist the innermost that's the natural waist line like this so whatever you get please write it down my dress form waist circumference is 30. number 11 the hip circumference how do you take this measurement you bring your tape, put it around the fullest part of your hip, like this. You check the back, and make sure it's going across the part that is bulging out at your back. Bring it all the way around, like this. Whatever you get, write it down. My dress form hip circumference is 40. Number 12, nipple to nipple measurement. All nipple to nipple measurements are not the same. Some people nipple to nipple measurements are nine. Some are eight and a half, some are eight, some are seven and a half, some are seven. Depends on an individual. How do you take this nipple to nipple measurement? Bring your tape, you put it at one nipple point, just from nipple point is this cross line here. Put your tape at one nipple point, bring it to the other nipple point. So whatever you get in between, that will serve as your nipple to nipple measurement. My dress from nipple to nipple measurement is seven. Whatever you get in yours, please write it down. When we are creating our bodies block I'm going to show you this front dart this side dart this back dart and this off cut one inch at the bottom I'm going to show you how to create them I place them on this dress form so that you know where darts are placed in human body. Their position. You know exactly where they are supposed to be. That is why I place them out for you to see. So in my next video, I'll show you how to create all these darts. There's no problem about that. Front measurements are the same with back measurements. The only difference is the dart that is in the front is a little bit lower than that of the back. That of the back, as you can see, is a little bit higher because there's no bust at the back. So the excess that is going to be up around this place, we need to use this dart to hold it in. That's why the one at the back is higher than that of the front. And this is the center back 
this line here this is where our zip stand is going to be and this is the center front when we are going to create our bodice block we are going to divide these bodies into two parts we're going to go ahead and divide the front into two that is this part and this part and this will be the center front and we're only going to use just one part to create the front bodies and we also divide the back bodies into two we're also going to use just one part to create the back bodies so in my next video you see how these are going to be placed so i'm just showing you in human form so that when we are drafting our block you know exactly what i'm talking about yes so this measurement of the hand is not taken because it's not included so in our other videos we are going to work with the sleeve measurement the sleeve is not included because it's a sleeveless bodies is fitted to the bodies that's why these darts are in it we finished taking all the measurements it's from 1 to 12 i encourage you to write it down the way you've seen it on the screen if you are not following me the way i'm doing it but can repeat this video follow it step by step and use it to take all the measurements you are supposed to take either your own body measurements or you can use somebody else's measurement it doesn't matter all we want to achieve, like I said before, is to be able to create a basic bodies block for women. And also to have that measurement to create garment without a block. This is an assignment. Have it ready. When next that we are going to create the bodies block, you have all your measurement ready. As I'm creating my bodies block with my dress form measurement, you're also creating yours with the measurement you already have on ground. I've taken all the measurements of my dress form and all the measurements I've written them down already. I think that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video. There are lots of people that want to learn how to cut and sew and everything about fashion. Bring them to this channel. They will thank you for it later. And again, if you have any question at all, don't hesitate to leave it at the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to answer any of your questions. Mm -hmm. And if you've not subscribed, please hit that subscription button right now. And as you hit that subscription button, immediately click that notification bell with it. It bell by the side of the subscription. The two go together. When you click that subscription button, click the notification bell at the same time. Three options will come out. Click the first one, which is ALL. Once you've done that, you are good to go. All you need to do, you relax and start to receive my good teaching. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in my next video. God bless you.